good morning and welcome to day three at 3D Experience World 2020. Well, the rain held off last night. We had a fantastic party on Broadway. Great music, great food, and of course, great people. So today is absolutely my favorite day of the conference. We've got some great speakers again this morning and another handful of Go Engineer application engineers are gonna give their presentations as well. So stay tuned, we'll see what you have in store today. We'll catch you tonight. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Darren with GoEngineer, and I'm here with Anna from Arctech 3D. Um, tell me a little bit about what types of technologies we have available here from your company. Sure, absolutely. So Arctech 3D is a manufacturer of uh, hardware and software for 3D, and we have a variety of scanners that uh, depends on the size of the object, the type of the object that you want to scan, you choose a different different scanner for your needs. For example, we have um, Artec Micro. It's for small, tiny pieces, uh, whatever fits in the, in the box. Then we have um, uh, scanners for larger objects, uh, something like PCBs or keys or coins and stuff like that. Then we have uh, uh, a scanner for huge stuff like airplanes, boats, cars. We can scan rooms, buildings. We have um, this guy is a portable, fully portable solution. Uh, it scans something from the size of a human head and, and bigger up to the size of a helicopter or an uh, airplane. Well, we see some of the scans you have on the screen there, and obviously the quality of the, uh, the magic wheelchair is pretty phenomenal. It gets the data as well as the, um, the surface colors and textures, which is really phenomenal. Yes. Uh, it is very important to have the color for visualizations, for such applications as um, archaeology, architecture, museums, color is important. For reverse engineering, maybe not that much, but uh, there are some that color is useful for sure. No markers are required, no exact positioning, no calibration, just take it in hand. Most of them are uh, handheld and portable, so yeah, very easy and user-friendly scanner. Good morning. I'm Darren with Go Engineer, and we're here at the 3D Experience Playground with Ryan Schultz, Vice President of Vertical Marketing with Stratasys. So, Ryan, let's tell me a little bit about some of the uh, new and exciting things happening with Stratasys. Yeah, of course. Uh, well, we're really excited about the J26 uh, PolyJet 3D printer, which just launched and is announced uh, yesterday at the show. Um, it is the newest member of the J8 series family of PolyJet printers from Stratasys, and it has all the great functionality. Um, that you've come to love in a much smaller, more affordable footprint. So Stratasys has come out with a lot of new materials. Um, can you tell me what your favorite new material these days is? Oh, it's hard, it's hard to choose. I mean, I think I'm very excited by Vero Ultra Clear. Um, our clear materials in the past have been a bit of a game changer, but with Ultra Clear, if you see them side by side, it's like night and day. So now we can do things like simulate glass um, and all sorts of really cool stuff, which is very exciting. Right. Now, do you have any new announcements that are gonna be happening here this week? Um, J26 is the focus of this show. Um, and it's a really exciting product for us. As we look out through the entire year though, 2020 is gonna be a huge year for Stratasys. Stuff I can't talk about quite yet today, but a lot of new technologies, a lot of new products coming out that are really gonna take us from good to great within the 3D printing space. So we are you know, seeing some of the great new technologies, obviously. If you get a chance, stop by the Stratasys booth here at the 3D Playground and check out just some of the amazing new things that they've got to offer. So we're here with Ben Gowers of Camworks, and uh, SolidWorks and Camworks have a pretty important relationship. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I sure can, I sure can. So several years ago, SolidWorks decided that they wanted to come out with some cam that was integrated inside SolidWorks. It's a very critical part of the manufacturing process, and so they went out and they chose Camworks to power the SolidWorks cam. So right within the SolidWorks file, somebody can not only design the part, but also plan, create the tool paths, and produce the G-code that runs the CNC mills that can create parts today. So uh, is there anything new and exciting in Camworks that you can tell us about or that you're personally excited about? Yes, I sure can. In fact, there's a great thing that's just come out. We've just released Camworks Shop Floor. Camworks Shop Floor is that bridge in the fourth industrial revolution as we all go digital that takes the shop models 
that are being developed and all of the tool paths and giving them to people that are actually running the machines. Well, obviously we spend a lot of time creating really elegant geometry in SolidWorks and to have something tangible in your hand, you need tools like yours um, to really close the loop on that. So thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Well, that's a wrap on another day here at 3D Experience World 2020. We had some great keynote addresses today, including Sam Rogers, where he and his team at Gravity Industries are producing real-life Iron Man suit, and several breakout presentations by our very own application engineers from Go Engineer. This is a wrap on the entire conference, once again getting together with some of my favorite people in the entire world. Hope to see you again next year here at 3D Experience World 2021.